Hello, my name is Alan Lander of Roof Train. We're working in conjunction with Independent Slate, producing a series of short videos showing how to put a simple slate roof on. This video is going to show you how to put on a dry vented ridge system and also to fix the ridge tiles to that system once it's fixed. In the box of the dry vented ridge system, you get sufficient rafter straps. Your next item is your rollout ridge tray. You have your screws. These screw down into the ridge batten that you fixed earlier. You also have a sponge section. So if that were to get any water in again, it wouldn't get past there. You have the stainless steel plate and the screw. That's mechanical fixing and your ridges are secure. Find out how to fit the rafter straps, please watch our first video on laying out a roof with felt and batten. Now we've fixed our top, um, our rafter straps, fixed our ridge batten. We're now gonna fix the roll out ridge tray. This comes in six meter rolls. If you have to join on a run of ridge, you need to put on a 200 mil side lap. When you're putting it on an end like this, you need to allow 150 mil past that point there, out here. You fix this with large headed clout nails and you fix into the center of the ridge rollout. Find the center, a couple of ways really. You can bend that there like that. Those two ends are meeting, that's the middle. There's a natural line in the middle anyway. That needs to go into the centre of your baton with a large headed clout now. If you put too much, it's better than not enough and you can always cut it off later. Again, fix it in the middle, further along. I'm just gonna randomly fix it here so that I can get this stuff under control. So when you get to this end here, this is going into an abutment. So what I'll do there, again, just randomly nail it here just for a minute. Right, so now, because I've got an abutment here, I want some of the ridge membrane going up the wall. So again, I'll allow enough, get that in there tight. I'll allow enough, which is over there. I can always cut this off afterwards, but it's a bit more difficult to stick it back on again. I'm not gonna, Nail right in this crease here because that could cause its own problems. I'll come back about 100 mil back. I want to get that down in there. That's fine. And this side. Now from there, I'll go every 300 mil. That's about 300 mil. What we do now, you have the ceiling strip there, sticky, sticky bit with the paper on there. You take that off. Put that up over your side. Get this down. Continue to pull this through. Don't try putting it over like that because it will stick exactly like that and you get a bump. So you need to work it through nice and gently and stick it back through. You might want to wear gloves when you're handling this product. These can be a bit sharp. 
If you're going down, if you're careful with it, it's fine. Obviously, you would take this right to the end like that. We haven't slated there, but that would stick to the slate as it has done elsewhere. That would stick to the ups down there. This would stick to the ups down here. Once you know you have enough, just trim off the excess up here. Um, this will act as a saddle. So you have soakers coming up here underneath that. Soakers coming up here underneath that. This is your saddle, which will prevent any water getting in. Okay, so where this excess comes over the edge, you need to bend it in, find out where you need to cut it off, mark it, trim this off, Make that nice and neat around there. Should anything get in there, it's not going to do any damage. It will just go away. So now we've wrapped that around there to protect the end. We're now going to fix the first ridge. First one we fix is a block end ridge. So that's your block end ridge there. That finishes off the verges from both sides. What you have to do on this as well, on this one, it's already fixed. It's already drilled you have to have a hole there, because if you only have a fixing there, then that ridge can actually come up like that. So you need an extra fixing in there. But as I say, on this ridge, the hole is already made. So I'm just gonna fix this um, end ridge now. So I'm putting the screw in through the hole here, otherwise there's a danger of it flipping up, okay. I'll just get the screw started on that. I'll get my ridge. Yeah, and then I can still move that. I won't screw that one down until I've got the screw in position on this end here. Right, now I've got that one down there. So that's as far as we're going to go with the, with the ridge. You'll notice on this that there is no gasket in between the joints of the ridge. Some systems have it, some systems don't. This one relies on the membrane to take the, any water away. It's a very good membrane. It's self-sealing on the screws and on the nails, so there is no fear of penetration of water through there. And it allows for a little bit of oddities in the ridge tiles because they're not always perfect uh, you can straighten out any ridge with these plates and screws once you've finished putting your ridges on look down the line of your ridge there make sure they're in a reasonably straight line once you've got them in your straight line go back along and just make sure that everyone is tightened down you don't want it ram tight you want it touching It's much easier to do this when all of the ridges are on because you have a general line to follow then. There it is. Finished. Right, well that concludes the video for the fitting of the dry vented ridge system and fitting the ridge tiles to that. In this video we covered putting the rollout ridge tray and securing it to the ridge batten, fixing the end so that it wraps over the end of the verge. And then we fix the block end ridge and all of the ridge tiles with the mechanical fixings. That concludes the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Thank you.